Welcome everyone to another unboxing video. This time around we are going to be looking at Unstable Unicorns. A really popular game made by Unstable Games of course. And it says to build a unicorn army, betray your friends. Unicorns are your friends now. So this game as you can see right here is 2-8 to eight players. Which is pretty interesting since most of these tabletop games or card games usually go anywhere from 2-5 to five players. But this one actually accommodates a few more individuals. So it's better for larger, you know, parties or little social events like that. Uh, uh, Playtime on average is 30 to 60 minutes and age 14 plus. Contents include 135 cards and rulebook. So I'm going to go ahead and flip this over and we can actually see the back here real quick, a couple of the cards and stuff like that. Uh, once again, this is not a how to play Unstable Unicorns. That's going to be a separate video that will be coming out uh, pretty soon actually. And as you can see, this one is not uh, completely factory sealed here, fresh off the box. It's not one of those unboxings that, you know, I'm taking off the seal because I already own the game, but I did go ahead and, you know, put everything back as to how you would find them in their original contents, essentially. So essentially, once you remove the whole, you know, wrap around, you can flip the bottom piece here. It's like a little, mag it's like a little magnetic thing here. It's a little hard to see that, but if you just push like that, it just sticks. So removing the top of it, it's actually nice. It's a really nice layout. Let me go ahead and show that to you. That's part of these unboxing videos, you know, so you can see everything. And right at the very top, you would get the um, the rule book here. So the rule book is not really a book. This might have been called a rule book, but that's what the rule book means, you know, just the rules. That's the rules. Um, obviously, I'm not going to be showing that right now in this video and going through them like that. That's going to be for the how to play. But even then, in that video, I'm not going to show this. I'm just going to show you how to play instructions, you know. I'm going to move this over here, of course, but then in here, you get taken to the cards. So there are a lot of cards, as the front said, uh, 135 cards. There's a lot. Now, one thing that I like to do with a lot of these games that I actually have are that I like to go ahead and use uh, card sleeves for protection. Just because, especially if it's a game that you're going to be playing a lot, then it's very important to actually sleeve them up. So I'm actually doing this right now, just taking out a couple at a time. Uh, because uh, card sleeves make it a little bit thicker, so it makes it a little harder to like reach in there with your hand, you know, and pull them all out at the same time. It makes that kind of a challenge. But essentially, the way it works is that there's two stacks here, and it's really just for organizational purposes. It's not like you have to put specific cards on one side and specific cards on the other side, you know, for storing them, for managing it easier for the next game. That's it's not one of those games. No. Okay. Once you remove them all. Which again, without card sleeves, you could just go in there and get them all in one go, but I couldn't really do that. Once you move them all, this is actually what shows at the very bottom, so it's pretty nice and cute, as you can see. But that's the whole box, and um, it's pretty good quality, I would say. And I'm going to put that over here. So, there's two sets of cards. Um, I guess I'll start by actually showing these eight. So these are... The game calls them reference cards, other games use similar terminology, but these aren't actually part of the game themselves, uh, but it's more so, like I said, it's reference card. Each player gets one of these, so there's eight of them because there's up to eight players. Technically speaking, you could play this game with more than eight players, but you would have to share reference cards, which is perfectly fine. Uh, but yeah, that's how it looks like. What to do on your turn, words you need to know, types of cards, and that's it. The back is just, you know, that unstable unicorn's background. So eight of those, I'm not going to, you know, spend time on those, really. And then, we have the two piles here. So let's go ahead and start with the, hmm, I'll actually start with this pile over here. But I'm just going to show these, you know, one at a time and kind of go through them. Because it's not a how to play video, like I keep saying. But there are different types of cards, as you may know. And it's important to at least, you know, just see what's in here if you are thinking of getting this product. But here we have our baby unicorns which is our first of many different categories, but these also have the white background, it's important to know this, but here's Baby Unicorn, you know, so many of them, that. Baby Unicorns are all pretty much the same um, artwork, just different color scheme. There's a couple different ones in a little bit, but for the most part, it's the same one, just different color schemes. Like that one's different, of course, look at that one, wow. But these are all the Baby ones, and then this is the Baby Narwhal, which is also a Baby Unicorn card. But that's it for those. You can always tell what kind of card by looking at the, the, the color of it. These are more like, it's like a purple pinkish kind of color. And the next ones are more like a light blue 
I'm talking about the corners if you see that that's how you can distinguish but yeah these are all white background cards as you can see the rest of the cards aside from the reference cards which are also white background cards are going to be black background cards if you flip them over they're all black background this is important for gameplay because they're you know there are different types of cards the babies are separated from the rest of the other cards but that's not for this video okay so here's the basic unicorns once it focuses there we go so um for a lot of these cards there there's actually duplicates which makes sense because you know there's a lot of cards so like there's three of this one and these basic unicorns have a little bit of a flavor text as you can see oh my god and the records and mixtapes only that's funny and then there's like beards are like so hot so that's another <laughs> basic unicorn they get three of those then we have this one pop collars are for date nights only are they are they really <laughs> uh, dance like nobody's watching don't we all want to do that hashtag no makeup hashtag no filter hashtag sunnies hashtag shameless hashtag selfie hashtag basic hashtag to tgif hashtag Unicorn hair don't care. Wow. That's no response to that. And then the next one is just a bunch of emojis here. Oh my god. Yeah, obviously they're jokes, you know, on our current society and types of people, I would say. Uh, I'm sure you all know people that resemble each of these different categories, each of these different unicorns, you know, just people versions. Pumpkin spice is a pumpkin spice of life. This actually resembles my girlfriend. She's in love with pumpkin spice and thinks it's like life or whatever. Okay, basic narwhal. This card has no special powers, but it sure is cute. Okay, these are all the basic unicorns. So now we're going into the other types of blues. So these basic unicorns are going to go over here. The rest of the cards actually have effects. I'm not going to read all the effects, but I'll show them on screen. You know, for a, you know, a little bit of time each. That way you can actually see. And if you want to pause the video, then sure and pause the video you know magical flying unicorn sw uh, swift flying unicorn we got unicorn on the cob annoying flying unicorn seductive unicorn mother goose unicorn mermaid unicorn americorn that's funny chainsaw unicorn llama corn Stabby the Unicorn, Unicorn Phoenix, Magical Kitten Corn, Rainbow Unicorn, Queen Bee Unicorn, Extremely Destructive Unicorn, Ginormous Unicorn, Necromancer Unicorn, Rhino Corn, Dark Angel Unicorn, Black Knight Unicorn, we got classy narwhal, a bunch of narwhals in here. Narwhal torpedo. Oh, I didn't really show the effect. I think I may have, may have missed a couple. Whatever, it's fine. Shabby the narwhal. The great narwhal. Alluring narwhal. Okay, that's it for those. But there's actually oh yeah, my bad. This is also one. My bad. Um, shark with shark with a horn. There we go. So these are all um, as the game calls them, magical unicorns. They are unicorn cards. But they have special abilities. All three of these count as unicorn cards for the sake of the gameplay, and all these over here are not unicorn cards. Okay, so we're gonna go with um, we'll go with green now. I'm just gonna set these down like that. Okay. The green cards are the magic cards. Let me wait for it to focus. There we go. So we have blatant thievery. Some of these we actually have two copies of targeted destruction, unfair bargain. We got two unfair bargains, okay. Then we have good deal. Two for one. Another two for one. Retarget. There's another retarget. Mystical vortex. Shake up. Back kick. There's two of these back kick cards, okay. Three of these back kicks, oh wow. And there's unicorn poison, I believe there's three of this one. Unicorn Poison, yep, Unicorn Poison, okay. And we have a Glitter Tornado, 
We have two of these. Change of Luck. Two of these. Kiss of Life. Unicorn Swap. We got two of these. Reset button. And that's it. Okay. These are your magic cards. Typically when these are used, they immediately go into the discard pile. But they're not unicorn cards. And then we have a couple more categories here. We have upgrades and downgrades and then the instance. Not that many of these, but here we go. Here we have, uh, these are actually downgrade cards, the yellow ones. So here we have Blinding Light as the first one. Sadistic Ritual. <laughs> wow. Tiny Stable. Nanny Cam. Pandemonium. That's a very funny card. Broken Stable. Barbed Wire. Blow Down, or Slow, <laughs> Blow Down. <laughs> and Slow Down. And that's it. So as you can see, not a lot of these, but there are expansions, and expansions gradually added more and more of those downgrade cards, of course. And next up is the upgrade cards. Okay, for upgrade cards we have, we have Yay. We have two of those. We have Claw Machine. Also have two of those, three of those. Stable Artillery, okay. We have three of these as well. Glitter Bomb. Two of those, and then we have Double Dutch. Rainbow Aura. Caffeine Overload. Rainbow Lasso, and that's it. Okay. So, these I'm just gonna put over here. And then lastly, we have our instant cards. So, instant cards are typically played outside of turn. But yeah, these are all gonna be, and then watch this. Nay, 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 super nay. So only one super nay, which is better than all the other nays. It can't be nayed, essentially, but they're all counters. If you played other games, other card games, think of these as like counter cards. They counter an, an opponent's card when they're played, and you, so you typically play out of turn. Similar to the Nope, the Nope card from Exploding Kittens, kind of like that. Anyway, that's it for the product here. So Unstable Unicorns, I mean, the product price ranges a lot. I've seen it for like, I don't know, 20 bucks, sometimes 30 bucks. It varies in price a bit, depending on the store, or if you're getting it online and whatever, which makes it really hard to, you know, have a stable, uh, a stable price, which is why it's called Unstable. Get it? Oh my God, I'm so, I'm so funny. All right, so. That's gonna be it. I'll be on the lookout for a how to play Unstable Unicorns video as well as other expansions because I do have others. Let me give you a sneak peek. I wanna make a video of this, for example. This is an expansion pack of Unstable Unicorns which has a, some very interesting cards in there. But yeah, so stuff like that. So be on the lookout for those videos as I upload them. So if you did enjoy this video, I would appreciate if you could leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications. I do post gaming videos on a daily basis, so hopefully you enjoy my channel. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great and, of course, a fantastic day.